Hello everyone, my name is Janina Pinales and I'm part of the security evaluation of Recrypted Databases team. In this video I'll be talking about how to set up the system using Docker. There are two versions of how to set up the system. This one is using Docker and the other one is using a regular virtual machine. So I'm going to go through the readme file that's in our GitHub repository which is under the code under Docker setup. I'm going to go through this readme so you can see step by step how it's done. The first step is install Docker. Uh, you can do that by just going to this link right here. Let's go into this link right here and then following the community edition and then after that go into whichever version you're running in your laptop, your local computer. After that, after you have Docker installed and stuff like that, the next thing you need to do is git clone the repository from the Cino project program from the signal project program. So I'm gonna do this copy this and then you do git clone. Now I'm not gonna do that exactly because I already did it. Um, but since I already have it here all I'm gonna do is go into the folder. After you're in the folder you see around three files the next thing you need to do is build the docker docker container uh, build the docker image the way you do this is by running the command sudo docker build dash t crypt v version 1 and that don't forget the that at the end what this does is just builds the docker the docker image uh, based on the docker file that we have the docker file that we have here it's very simple all it does is it pulls out Ubuntu 14.0, then it labels this this image as CryptDB 1. version 1.0, then and updates some stuff, creates some environment variables, then I install some necessary stuff like Ruby, Vim, and Git. <coughs> Sorry. Then um, these are just MySQL configuration. Basically, what I'm doing here is that I'm setting the password for MySQL to be let me in, and also that's for MySQL client and for MySQL server. Now I'm also binding the address of, of Docker to 0, 0.0. That way when the when MySQL listens in the Docker container, it can also connect to our computer. After that, I'm running the actual kubedb crypt directory. Then after that, what I'm doing is I'm adding the data directory, which contains all the Python scripts in order to insert data. Then after that, I'm only installing the Bison version from Ubuntu because the default version is not compatible with CryptDB. So then I install it using, I installed the new, ver not the new version, I installed version. So then I installed version 2.7 using these commands in order to. Uh, so then I installed version 2.7 because that's the one that is compatible with CryptDB. Uh, version 2.7 comes inside the CryptDB folder, this one, CryptDB seed. So we're fine with that. Then after that, I run this command, which is actually installs CryptDB uh, and, ma and makes the C++ files inside CryptDB. Everything else is more like environment variables that need to be set up in order for the CryptDB um, system to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this. You're gonna notice that in my system is gonna be really, really fast. Taking a little bit of time, just waiting there. Let's see what happens. The computer is under being a little bit slow. So after the process is done, as you can see, my computer was really fast, but uh, this is because I have the image already cached, so it doesn't have to build. But this process should take about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how fast your computer is, because it builds the whole C++ ScriptDB system. So after that, we're going to go to the readme and follow the instructions there. 
So the way you run the Docker image, it's by right here in the code, there is a file named run.sh. You just run the file using sudo, sudo run.sh. <coughs> and what this file will do is it will start the Docker container, and after starting the Docker container, it would give us a terminal inside the Docker container. Right now, right here, we are inside the CryptDB system. We can start the proxy by just doing bash proxy.sh and in the another command line, another terminal, I'm gonna log in into the Docker. So what I did right now it's logging into to the Docker container in order to use a terminal inside. What we do the reason we do this the reason we do this is because since Docker is its own machine, its own container, we need to go inside of it before we can run any SQL commands clients, before we can connect to the proxy with MySQL client. So then we're going to connect to a proxy using the client. So after we're done building, after we're done building, after we're done building the image, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run our Docker container. In order to run a Docker container, all we need to do is run this file run.sh that is on the code directory. So we do sudo run.sh, <coughs> and that's going to create our, as you can see here, it created our Docker container. And then right now we inside the Docker container. What this run that the search is doing is that it's creating the Docker container, and after that, it's logging in to into inside the Docker container and create and giving us a terminal. So right now we inside the CryptDB directory. In order to run CryptDB, all we need to do is bash proxy, and then here what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute a a bash, which means it's going to log me into a terminal inside the container. The, the reason we do this is because since Docker it's a container, we need to go inside of it in order to run MySQL client in order to connect to a proxy. So after I'm here, I'm in the root directory, all I need to do is bash client that is sh. So all I need to do, I'm, I'm, all I need to do after, so all I need to do, after, uh, so all I need to do after I'm inside the client is run my SQL command dash u root dash p let me in let me in dash one two seven let's see how that do one two three zero seven. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> 